bread and water. Elder Rider Red, I gotta ask you something. You feel that since you went to Tri Cities, is known, you know, for like the music and all that stuff. You think that helped you to get to where you're at now? That shit ain't had shit to do with where I'm at right now. I'm gonna be honest. That shit, when I, I mean, look how I was over there, you know, school or where it was, but you become who you become a certain way, you know what I mean, at the end of the day. What that shit did for me was, it just put me in touch with a whole, you know, different genre of people. You know, high school, okay. high school, you're not who you really are. You're doing your thing, you, you're young. Hanging out with people, trying to fit in with everybody. Yeah, high school is whatever, man, you know. I. I'm getting money and I ain't going to class. You know what I'm talking about? I'm wrong with that. You did a little shit. But at the same time, now I'm going to tell y'all, y'all, y'all niggas something. I go back to my teacher and say, okay, what y'all did today and get my motherfucking work and then give it to a bitch and tell her, help me out. You understand me? So I can do what I do because that diploma is very important. Now I ain't going to sit here and say it ain't. That shit is important. Man. Yeah, for real. Right, so Paula, Paula Joe, now these, you know how it's so hard to get signed to a record label these days. How you feel about a 360 deal? A 360 deal? Yeah. Man. Say what? I'm going to let Red. I'm going to let Red. Okay. 360 deal to me, man. Go kill yourself. Yeah, I right. signed my motherfucking self. Independent. All independent, man. Yeah. You know, because we put in all the work. You blow your own record up. You hollering at promoters a certain way, booking people a certain way. Get your own show, build your own demand, and fuck a 360. Them folks going to come to you, sit you down at the table and say, what do you want? You know, that shit ain't what's happening, man. I mean, for real, you know, the Bogart, the game that way with these little, uh, what you want to call these Rudy Poop who, I mean, them one hit one was a certain way who got only one thing to bring to the table. If you're not talented, if you know your whole career is only riding off just something that you looked up and threw together, then that's your move. Take that motherfucking deal. But if you know you can bring something to the table as a writer. It's going to be a long, long lasting. You believe in your campaign, exactly. some longevity is there, and grind that shit out and ride it out, my man, because I'm telling you, God going to bless you, because he good. Right. He going to bless you. Yeah. It's church. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So who who is Paulo Joe? Paulo Joe, man, he just like, you know, like I said before, he's a people person, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ambassador of swag. I hate to say that word. I'm, that, let that be my last time saying it. But just, just to expound on the whole You're killing situation. that word on the yeah, right I'm, here today. I'm killing the yeah. word swag. Swag, you heard it first. And it's your last time. So, so you didn't buy no ticket? You just got SOL, <laughs> shit out of luck. So I'm going to tell you like this, man. This is Polo. I'm signing in, Mr. Free Pop Collar. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I, my, whole, I, my whole objective with this was to, you know, get young, young urban black folk in, involved in the situation where you playing playing college every day because you got business about yourself. That's why I did because, right. you know, it's business. So, yeah. it, you know, we, we just not going to get into the pros <laughs> thing, man. But, oh, little Joe, man, he just, you know, the people person, man. You know, yeah. stand up. Stand up guy, man. Jack of many trades. Got all kind of tricks up my sleeve, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. What kind of struggles did you run across coming up with music? Yeah. Like you know, all, all kind of shit. Cause be, I mean, you know, it's like this. If you talented, you know, and you get certain things come at you when you're young a certain way, you don't necessarily know the business, then you're not really prepared for shit or you got the wrong people in control of your situation. Now, me, myself, Eldorado Red, now, I started with a group called Who You Call the Country. You know, we had a song ever since I was a shouted. The first group the campaign downtown at the Walter Soap though. We shot the video. It's still playing on MTV too right now. You know, so we were signed to Dallas Austin, had the Capitol Record situation. But our thing has been that, you know, sometimes you could be too far ahead of your time. And the stars and shit just don't be locked up at that very moment. Uh, you know, and with that a certain way, you know, especially for Atlanta just took off how it took off. The world wasn't necessarily ready or certain key people in the industry not really being able to see the future. And then when it come back around, they be like, damn, they was on that then. And see, that's pretty much our story. So, and it's sad to say that you got to dumb your shit down sometimes just to be where everybody at at the moment, you know. But uh, one thing I can tell you about Eldorado motherfucking Red Church, <laughs> Preach tabernacle revival is that what you're gonna get out of us is consistency and some real shit at all times, and it's gonna be fly and it's gonna always continue to be ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. While they down here on earth, we up on motherfucking Jupiter, uh, Mars, and 
just way out there playing in the astrological shit, you understand me? <laughs> That's where we at, man. You know what I'm talking about, man? You know, we million dollar tickets to fly out of space, man. And how much that shit costs? Yeah, you got like a million. I, 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 if yeah. I had it, I'd go. Yeah, just experience put, it. Put me on, on the motherfucking, uh, whatever you want to call the motherfucking challenges and shit, man. <laughs> Let me take off, man. Rocket shit, car. That's where yeah. we at, man. For yeah. real, man.